It's back to business as usual at Kent State University tonight, one day after an on-campus shooting hurt one student. Today we learned that student was the shooter who now faces criminal charges. 27 First News reporter Julie Bursick found students who say there were problems with the campus alerts. A rainy but normal day at Kent State University, just hours after the campus was locked down. Students are still processing what happened. It was scary because it was here on campus. It kind of hurts that there's a student out there that, you know, has carrying around guns and, you know, trying to harm people. Police say 24-year-old Cavante Tyler, a freshman, got into a domestic dispute with two female students and fired a gun. That round hit his hand. Police say after that single shot was fired, Tyler came here to Johnson Hall where he knows somebody, and he left a bag with a gun and ammo. Now police are questioning this person, but no charges have been filed. Police later found Tyler at a nearby hospital getting treatment. It was through his cooperation, I may add, that we were able to go to Johnson Hall and start the investigation. Shortly after the shooting, the university sent a text alert out. Nicole Jelinek says there was some confusion in the library. The static over the speaker came on. It was really hard to hear, but everyone got quiet. We didn't know what was going on. Chief Peach admits technology in some of the buildings didn't work, even though it was tested just six weeks ago. We made note of those uh, speakers that had difficulties and we respond to them. The protocol is extremely good. Another student says he's pleased with the way Kent handled the situation and feels safe on campus. They really, I thought, did well in informing us and like, uh, you know, really locking down the place. The chief says it's been 22 years since the last campus shooting. And he is pleased with response from students, staff and officers and says his department will use any problems as a learning experience. In Kent, Julie Bursick, WKBN 27 First News.